guys what's up welcome to tribal web tech so in this video we're going to talk about windows 11 and its compatibility so windows 11 is out right now it's out but it has not been released to the public so let's not get this confused windows 11 is out but it is not available to the public yet but in this video we are going to talk about two things um windows 11 compatibility how to run the test and um the release dates for windows 11 so right now you might see lots of videos out there telling you to download windows 11 now um, to download the latest windows 11 iso file to download the complete iso file all those videos are fake um you might end up downloading a malware that will crash your pc so right for in this video we'll start with telling you to how to check the compatibility of um the windows 11 file with uh, with your um with the windows 11 operating system with your current computer and then when to expect the windows 11 file to be out for download um so uh, let's dive deep into the video so first um there are two ways to download it the first way is to check the comment section where i drop the download link and the second way is to go to google and search for why not windows 11 github so um why not oh sorry i'm using capital letters but you can use any um case size so why not windows 11 github and wait for the down um for the result so um yeah why not 11 why not windows 11 github the first link it's usually the first link well at the time of making the vi this video it was the first result that you should click but i don't know just make sure it's, it takes you to github so right now this one will take me to github i'll click on it and give it some seconds to load and here we are we are on github github is um an internet repository where you can get codes for different stuff i won't talk about it but yeah this is just um a picture of how the whole setup looks like and um here you can see on that it there is a download i've highlighted it there's a download um section where you can download the latest table release or the latest um testing release so i'll advise you not to download the latest testing release always download the latest table release because this is the one that is stable it has been used by many users and it has been um, proven to be stable so if you download the latest testing release you might end up um crashing your device so once you click on download i won't download it again because i've downloaded it before um once you click on download it should just download in less than five sec five seconds because it's a small file yeah um it talks about the minimum requirement the requirements for um this application you are installing so um windows 8 is the minimum requirement which um 32 bits um 40 mb ram and um uh, 5 mb disk space i believe everyone watching this video has um a computer that um is more than the uh, minimum requirement so after downloading it um go to the download folder you might get an error telling you that um this file is harmful do not install i promise you the file is not harmful um the file is 100 percent safe and it has been used by myself on my pc so once you get to the file this is the file here with the name why not windows 11 click on it and it might feel like um it's taking time to load maybe your system is slow or not no it's currently running the check and when it's finished running most of the check it will display the results on your screen so all you have to do right now is just to wait for it um to display the result until then you can't do anything okay right now it has i think okay one more result is still pending but it has gotten most of the results and this is it on the screen so it will tell you if you it will show you um the 11 compatibility test it has done so right now there are 11 tests available to see if your windows um is uh, compatible and um it has three indicators the first one is the green indicator the second one is the red indicator and um the fourth the third one is um the yellow indicator the green for um okay or excellent the red for no bad and um the yellow for not sure so it's like the traffic lights we, we learned in primary school um so um that's the green that's the red and then um, this is the yellow so if you have the yellow it means it's not sure if um this feature is available or we determine if your system can run the windows 11 so um there are 11 tests you can run right now but direct x is still showing white which means it's still running in the background so we can proceed with the video or wait for direct x to load and um to if you want it to load you just have to click on reload the reload button should be um down although my um website 
um, is blocking it. My um, tribe web information tech is blocking it. So right now, um, the architecture is green, which means um, the 64-bit and 64-bit um, OS works with it. The boot method is um, legacy, which is showing red. So my boot method is not compatible with Windows 11. So I can fix this by going to my BIOS and changing my boot method, but I won't talk about it here. The CPU compatibility, it has um, this minimum uh, compatible CPU has not been released by Windows yet. So for now, we are not sure. The CPU core count, I have four cores, which is okay. Um, the CPU frequency, I have 1.60, which is okay. Um, DirectX is still not loading. So what I'll do now is click on reload. So if I click on reload button down, it will ask me to download it again. Just click on no. Once you click on no, um, I think by now the information, okay, right now it's ready. So as you can see, DirectX is okay. I'm using DirectX 12. Um, my disk partition is showing yellow. So they are still waiting for a uh, Windows to re release an official statement to see if disk partition type will determine if um, you can install Windows 11 on your PC, on your computer or not. So the RAM is 4 gig RAM. A 4 gig RAM device can run Windows 11 operating system. Um, the secure boot, Right now, my PC has secure boot disabled, so I can go to my BIOS and um, enable secure boot. So I will I make a video on how to do that. Um, the storage I have a 465 gig, um, which is um, and I have one drive, which is um, it, which 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 meets the minimum requirement. So um, in this whole test, I just have two errors that might stop me, that might make my device not compatible, which is the boot method and the secure boot, and these are two issues I can easily fix by going to my BIOS. If you enter the if you want to enter the BIOS mode, it's just depending on your PC, you can um, press function 11 or function 10, the F10 button at the top of your PC um, keyboard, and then it will take you to the boot method. It will take you to your BIOS, and then at the BIOS, you can change your boot method, and then you can turn on secure boot. So your boot method, remove it from legacy. There are always two options. Remove it from legacy and use the new um, boot method. Why um, the secure boot, you can enable it. So once you do this too, and then you have lots of green on your screen, then your PC should be, um, um, what do I call it? Your PC should be compatible with Windows 11. Please, if you have red, if you have red, your PC will not be compatible with Windows 11. Do not install Windows 11 when everything is showing red or when most things are showing red. You might end up crashing your system. Always aim for green. Yellow, it's is okay but green is the best so if you have um all green then your system is ready to go you can install windows 11. i'll also make a video on my next video will be talking about how to fix um the secure boots and um the boot method so if you want the video check um the next video i'll post is talk about the secure boots and the boot method and also again right now um now that you've checked the compatibility the next thing is when is windows 11 coming out Windows 11 has b has been announced, so just announced in June 2021, but it has not been released yet to the public. You might see lots of mock-up videos out there, Mo lots of um, YouTubers have been posting and lots of web websites have been posting that Windows 11 download link, download Windows 11 ISO file right now. Windows 11 is not out. You might end up downloading a malicious file that will crash your whole system. Um, according to Windows, what we had, Windows 11 will be released, according to Microsoft rather, Windows 11 will be released um, by October 2021. So October is just around the corner. Um, users who buy um, their PC during that period, October, will get Windows 11 pre-installed in them. But um, users on Windows 10, those of us that are currently on Windows 10, we will get the upgrade rolled out to our devices. But we, everyone won't get it at the same time. Um, some users might get it before others. So all you have to do is just to be patient, wait, and Windows 11 will be rolled out to you. But being on Windows um, 10 doesn't guarantee that you get Windows 11. Because if your system is not compatible with it, you might not get it. Um, some might get it earlier, some might get it later. So even if you don't get it on, uh, by October, it doesn't mean you will not get Windows 11. So you just have to be patient, um, stay updated to our channel, follow us, and then we might give you more information about Windows 11. So thanks for watching this video. Um, if you have questions, ask me in the comment section. Like the video, hit the like button. If you've not subscribed to this channel, join the family by crushing the subscribe button. If you have questions, don't forget to interact with me in the comment section. And also don't forget to share this video with your friends who might um, want to check for the compatibility of um, their system with Windows 11. 
and um, once again don't forget windows 11 is not out do not download any file that will hurt your system thanks for watching and um, have a great day